Hey everyone, today we're going to have a brief discussion on similar and special right triangles. So by definition, we say that two triangles are similar if all the angles within those triangles are equal. This definition is pretty straightforward, but we'll bring up a quick example. We have a triangle on the left with sides 3, 4, and 5. We have a triangle on the right with sides 6, 8, and 10, which all have the same angle. A nice trait about similar triangles is that they have the same trig ratios. I have my three trig ratios on the left, and I have my three ratios on the right. And we see that they actually all simplify to equal the same values. So another thing about right triangles, which is good to know, is that right triangles are similar if and only if they have the same trigonometric ratios. When we examine the sides of the triangle on the right a little bit farther, we see that it's just a scaled up version of the triangle on the left by two. Now we can talk about two special right triangles. The first is called the 30-60-90 triangle. It's a right triangle with angles of 30 and 60 degrees. When the triangle has these angles, the side opposite away from 30 degrees will be x, the hypotenuse will have a side of 2x, and the side opposite to 60 degrees will be x times the square root of 3. And this is nice because essentially what it means is that if I know one side of my triangle, I know the rest. The next special right triangle that's important to us is the 45-45-90 triangle. It has two 45 degree angles in addition to a 90 degree angle, and its shorter sides will be labeled by x, and the hypotenuse will then be x times the square root of 2. In this last slide, we're going to talk about similar special right triangles. We're going to look at the case where the 30-60-90 triangle and the 45-45-90 triangle have hypotenuse length of 1. So, with my 30-60-90 triangle, I'm going to set my hypotenuse 2x equal to 1, and then I'm going to solve for x to see what my other sides are going to be. When I do that, I see that x has to equal 1 half, therefore my similar special right triangle has hypotenuse 1, my side opposite to 30 degrees has length 1 half, and my side opposite to 60 degrees has length root 3 over 2. If I do the same thing with my 45-45-90 triangle, I'll set my hypotenuse x times root 2 equal to 1, and I'll solve for x to see that x has to be equal to 1 over square root of 2, which is root 2 over 2 when I rationalize the denominator. And then when I plug this information back into the triangle itself, I have a hypotenuse of 1, and I have that each of my shorter sides have length root 2 over 2. Now these particular triangles on the right are going to be helpful when I build the unit circle, which I'll talk about in my next video.